Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on Rec Room Paintball. So, here I am in my dorm, and uh, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on Rec Room Paintball. So, let's get going. I really like Paintball, it's a fun game to play. So, today I'm just going to be giving you some ti tips and tricks, and it's going to be very fun, because my first time giving tips and tricks. So, uh, yeah. Let's give some tips and tricks on paintball. I will give you tips on knowing the spawn points, tips on what guns to use, and some tips on just some things that tips and tactics that you guys need to know. So let's get into it. Game Here we are on. in the uh, capture the flag homestead map. So first off is don't always just run into battles. Some people do this and they just run into battles like this. You want to find that cover is a good thing to use. So you can also keep moving around. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Move around, shoot, shoot. So this is a good technique to uh, use. So grenades. Here's a tip for grenades. If you are on this map, grab a grenade, make it go off, and then put it right here. And it will fire the grenade. If you're on screen mode, it helps a lot. So just a good uh technique for doing um if you want to fire a grenade to the other side of the map but on screen mode you don't get enough throwing so you can use that technique to hello mate you can use that technique to fire grenades across the map so yeah let's get into battle so battle when you're down here you want to grab your shotgun if it's spawned and gonna come up here people sometimes camp right here or here so always be ready with your shotgun to shoot here check around the corners and stuff so yeah let's get into some just mean fighting up here is a good place to come on homestead map because there's grenades you can chuck those down the flag, the flag the flag flag drop. Drop. and i hit someone so You've always got to stay behind flag this because you're an obvious target. So, you want to stay behind here. I don't recommend using a shotgun and a um, pistol at the same time, but if there are some far range people that you need to take down, go on and do it. But, not recommended. So, coming through these tunnels is a good way to get covered. But if you have a flag and you took it from here and you need to come from it, it is a good way to do that. Uh, unlucky. So it is a good way to come around here to uh, do that. So also, if you want to add me, um, Mini Ghetto is my name, Mini Ghetto. Come add me and play some paintball or whatever you want to play. So uh, yeah. Sometimes coming up onto these, you know, when you go and climb on these, isn't a good idea because you're higher up and you're uh, easy to target. So I don't do it much. I normally use these as cover. I also like to look up a little. So you can see the names over these things. You can see the names over these things. Aim! Sometimes you just put the hand out and shoot, shoot, shoot. You can be shaky then, so recommend putting your hand, your other controller under, putting your arms out, and firing. And we got him. Put that under there, and bang. That'll go out, and I don't have to focus on chucking it. And it'll go out, and take down, take your person that you want to take out and down, so, sometimes people jump in fights, you do, you sometimes on screen mode, you're, you should do that, but on, on VR, it's like, so, sometimes you've got to focus on aiming, so, when you're in close range fights and you just spot one, someone and you can't get this ready, just have your arm out, uh, unlucky, but, uh, yeah, so that is one tactic for aiming and uh, that. So this will be it for part one. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, you have a good rest of your day.